here is the next example in this example he is uh, he is talking about a light bulb is 3 meters from a wall what is the focal length of the lens that will form an image on the wall that is twice the size of the light bulb what is the position of the lens from the bulb so uh, usually it's good idea to draw the diagram so here is the diagram here is the light bulb um we don't know what kind of lens is this but i'm going to take this as a converging lens okay um and here is the wall and he said the distance between the wall and the light bulb as three meters so this distance is given as three meters another important piece of data he gave us is the um, the size i mean magnification he's he clearly mentioned uh, the bulb size is twice big as the original object so it's twice the big um, So magnification factor is given, which is, we don't know whether it is plus or minus two. Okay, I I draw it upside uh, upright. I mean, it is not inverted, which I don't know really. It might be inverted at the end, we'll figure it out. Okay, M equal to plus or minus two. I will take plus two and solve for it and take minus two, solve for it, and then we'll figure it out. Okay, so here is distance of the object. So if you're following this different textbook, um, it's going to be S and distance of the image, that's going to be S prime. So according to the lens formula, we know that one over F equal to one over S plus one over S prime or one over D naught distance of the object plus one over distance of the image. And we know m equal to minus di by d naught, which is height of the image over height of the object. From the given data, all I know is distance of the object plus distance of the image as 3 meters. And another one is I know magnification factor is plus or minus 2. Okay, we'll take it as start with plus 2 and solve for it, take it as minus 2, solve for it and uh, figure it out which one is the right answer. Let me start with magnification factor m equal to 2, pause due to. If I take pause due to magnification factor, um, that indicates that di equal to minus 2, not, 2 d naught. So if I substitute it in here, d naught minus 2 d naught equal to three meters okay so distance of the object equal to minus three meters it doesn't make sense right um, because distance of the object is always a positive number here I end up with a negative number so the magnification factor must be a negative number not the positive so I'm going to take it a magnification factor of negative two so as I mentioned I'm going to take the magnification factor minus two so di equal to plus d naught um, I'm going to substitute that value here that is going to give 3 d naught equal to 33 meters sorry d naught equal to um, 1 meter so the distance of the object equal to 1 meter and distance of the image equal to um, 2 meters okay if I substitute d naught value in the first equation that's my first equation that's my second equation so I end up with D naught and D i. The question he's asking about, uh, what is the position of the lens? I mean, that is the position of the lens, which is uh, distance of the object is, it's one meter from the object. We'll find the focal length to one over D naught plus one over D i equal to one over F. So here one over one plus one over two equal to one over F that equal to can I say this as two can I say this as three by two so f equal to two by three which is 0.66 meter that is the focal length 
So here I found the focal length which is 0.66 meters. So if you see positive focal length for sure that lens is a converging lens. Okay, and the converging lens is the only one which produces um, light bulb in the behind or on the on the wall. Now the magnification factor it's a negative number. Um, magnification factor is negative number, so the, the image must be inverted. So this is wrong. Whatever I draw here, uh, it must be something like this. It must be an inverted image. Okay, so this is the uh, final image. And uh, the distance between the light bulb to the lens is, we found that as distance of the object as one meter. Okay. Um, next example, in this video I'm going to solve one more example. A lens placed 20 centimeter, a lens placed 20 centimeter in front of an object. Creates an upright image twice the height of the object. So image size is twice, magnification factor is given. The lens is moved along the optical axis until it creates an inverted image twice the height of the object. How far did the lens move? So here also I'm going to draw this is an axis. Okay. At this point we don't know what kind of lens it is. I'm going to take this as converging lens but I can see it. it is a converging lens but we'll figure it out after finding the F value okay and an object is upright so you clearly mention it's upright image upright image means it's not inverted so basically M value is positive so you have M equal to plus 2 that is clearly given okay so an object is somewhere here that is my object um, image is created twice we'll find that value and he gave us this distance, distance to the object, uh, T naught or S equal to 20 centimeter. Okay, so M equal to 2, which is minus Ti by T naught. So distance of the image equal to minus 2 times distance of the object. Okay, and we're going to take 1 over D naught plus 1 over di equal to 1 over f. Okay, so based on this, I'm going to substitute di equal to minus 2 d naught. So 1 over d naught plus minus, I'm going to put the minus here, 1 over 2 d naught equal to 1 over f. This will makes me, I mean makes it 2 over 2 d naught minus 1 over 2 d naught equal to 1 over 2 d naught. So f equal to 2 d naught, I know d naught equal 20 centimeters, so basically f equal to 40 centimeter. So my focal point is um, somewhere here. Since I have the positive focal point, that indicates that it's a converging lens. So for the converging lens, focal point is going to be somewhere there behind the lens now what is the image image is minus 2d so distance of the image equal to minus 2 times 40 which is minus 80 centimeter so the image the real image is going to be um, since distance is a negative distance it's going to form somewhere here 80 meters away on this side and it's a twice the size Okay, this is this is the image now in the next case what happened here the lens is moved along the optical axis until it creates an inverted image twice the height of the object how far did the lens move um, so basically what happened here my magnification factor is going to be negative the new magnification factor is negative. What happened? The lens has been moved. So the distance of the object is unknown. And distance of the image is also going to be unknown. All I know, magnification factor m equal to minus 2. 
so minus 2 equal to minus distance of the image or distance of the object so in this case distance of the image equal to 2 times d naught so 1 over d naught plus 1 over di equal to 1 over f i know f value 40, 40 centimeters at the same time i can substitute di equal to 2 d naught so 1 over d naught plus 1 over 2 d naught equal to 1 over 40. So based on this I can make this as 2 I can make this as 3 by 2 d naught equal to 1 over 40 if I cross multiply I had 3 times 40 divided by 2 equal to d naught which is um, 60 centimeters so I know I know d naught value I know di value sorry I know f value so 1 over di plus 1 over d naught equal to 1 over f so 1 over distance of the image equal to 1 over f which is 40 minus 1 over 60 that equal to I'm going to say 3 over 60 sorry 3 over 120 minus 2 over 120 that will gives me 1 over 120 I just multiplied with the 3 numerator and denominator with 2 numerator and denominator that's how I end up with 1 over 2 so the distance of the image equal to 120 centimeter I don't think it is needed all I care for distance of the object so basically what happened here my distance of the object is um, so what happened I moved this further somewhere here so my distance of the object is uh, new d not new becomes 60 centimeter so how far did I move the lens I moved this lens lens 40 centimeter okay um, that's all um, I'll stop it here thank you